Hey, it's Luke here with Out of Darts. Today I'm going to show you how to make sock bombs, very specifically how to make sock bombs for Ragnar Oktoberfest. Now, there are many, many ways to make sock bombs. Of course, I just picked up some cheap socks at Ross. You could also pick them up virtually anywhere that you can find. Um, you could even use them used, though be nice and actually wash them first. Uh, I generally actually use my old socks that have been laundered and then make sock bombs out of them. Um, but these, ooh, 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 they got moisture control. Not sure what moisture control does for a sock bomb, but maybe your sock bombs won't get wet. Anyway. So, I was requested to make this video from the organizers over at Ragnar Oktoberfest for the October 11th 12th and 13th games, and I'm super excited to be down for that. Now, the reason we wanted to standardize this, I believe, is both for safety and for uniformity, and um, also, let's just say safety. Safe, really, it's all about safety. I had, uh, as a zombie at End War, I did have a sock bomb tossed at me that felt like a baseball. <laughs> It was rock hard, packed as heavily as possible. So we're going to run you through the best way to do this. And the only way you're allowed to do this for Ragnar Oktoberfest. Now all you will need for... All you will need for this project is one sock, one roll of duct tape. You can buy... This is what they call two-inch duct tape. It's actually about inch and three-quarters across. But we're going to use half this width. So to start off, we're going to just grab a couple pieces of tape. We want them to be about nine inches long. Let's say no more tape than nine inches is the re required spec. And you can just split most duct tape right in half. You also could just purchase short duct tape, but I'm going to do this because I do not have the one inch style. So first, so we use large white socks only. And first we're going to fold them in half. And then we're going to roll end over end, starting with the toe rather, very just loosely. Do, do, do. And then when we get to the end, we're going to fold this around. And you should end up with basically a ball. Now this should be very, very squishy. You should be able to throw this at someone very close range, like you're going to do in HVZ, without it hurting them. Um, if your sock bomb is not squishy, you've made it too tight. Next step is to add the duct tape. And we're going to do this loosely. We are not trying to condense this to the most solid rock we can possibly make it. That is not pleasant for those who are getting hit by it. And we're just going to use two pieces of tape, crisscross pattern, and your final sock bomb should look about like that. Now, we do not want them any harder than this. They should be nice and loose and squishy, and that should be basically it. I'll make one more quick one here just to show you how, how it goes. I think... Now, the reason for the fold, I don't think you need to fold all the way. The fold adds some um, width because what we're looking for is we want this to be about a ball shape when you're done. But again, this is nice, loose, soft sock. We're going to take duct tape, about nine inches. We don't need six layers of duct tape. This should really just be enough to go around about one and a half times just to secure it. And again, we are going gently like that. And you can be more precise to make yours look really nice. I'm just doing a kind of a quick job. But again, I'm not, I'm not wrenching this down so they're as tight as possible. We're just putting this on loosely. And there we've got a nice soft sock bomb. And these should remain nice and squishy and soft. You must use a full size sock and you must use them in white. Now again, this is only for Ragnar Oktoberfest. For other upcoming events, there are different rules. You can have mini ones and other things, but we wanted to keep it safe and keep it all the same at RAG. And then uh, these do count as part of your ammo count at Ragnarok. Ragnarok Oktoberfest is a limited ammo count game, but I think these are one of the smartest things you could possibly bring out, mostly because you get to pick them up and throw them again after you get a zombie with them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cannot wait for Ragnarok Oktoberfest. 
I will be there hopefully with some really cool new stuff. Until next time, I'm out of darts. Pew, pew.